Welcome back to the channel. Today we'll be opening another box of Upper Deck 2021-22 uh, Series 2 Hockey, a hobby box. But first, as is my gimmick, I'm going to pull something out of the PC and uh, show it off, explain why I like it. And today's item is my uh, my fourth uh, PC player, and really the, the smallest one, partially because he just has the fewest amount of cards. But it's another uh, guy from the Montreal Canadian system. Again, the, the hook for me was from the Hamilton Bulldogs and being around, and good guy, and, and I think a guy who, who never really got a fair shake with the Habs and has turned into a, a pretty decent tweener, a guy who's a, a decent depth defenseman, uh, can be a, a solid NHL player in your bottom six, or in your bottom pair if you need him, and that is... Greg Patteron. So he has very few cards. Uh, most of them from his rookie season are from 13-14, uh, from are from Panini. Uh, Upper Deck, I think, has just the OPG. This is probably my favorite set. I think Crown Royal is just such a sharp set. I wish it wasn't a sticker auto, but man, oh man, this card looks so good. It doesn't have the best autograph, but the uh, this one just the the die cut on the top it's such a sharp sharp set and and just looks so high end without uh, really being that high end I suppose uh, and this one I think what is it numbered 470 out of 499 so probably my favorite pattern card just because of the design of it and uh, and that's going to be the one I'm showing off today hopefully without such a uh, large amount of <laughs> glare on it from my light here but anyways getting into the series one box so I already opened one as you've seen here on the channel uh, not so great it did hit a, uh, a pretty rare thing in the, uh, one of the NHL passages uh, inserts that one I'm just looking here <coughs> excuse me looking here on the back of the box and it's so hard to find there's so many things that you could possibly get uh, but in any case, it's uh, it's a pretty rare uh, rare hit for you to get. There is one in 240 packs, so you're looking at one in 10 boxes for that. It's close to being uh, one per case. I guess you could potentially get two per case, but you know it's a, it's a decent enough hit. Bo Horp, though, unfortunately, and no real uh, none of the real top young young guns, which is which is a bit of a bummer. But we sold John. With it. That's why. We get a second one to make up for the first one, hopefully. Uh, so we're looking for, guys, we're looking for Lucas Raymond, Moritz Seider. Those are the top two. Uh, also, the second level, Anton Lundell, Mason McTavish, uh, Cole Perfetti. Um, always forgetting Tom Quinton Byfield. That one shouldn't be in the bottom tier. Uh, and also, we're looking for the canvas, Cole Caulfield. That's the big one. And, man, I've seen the photos of it, and it is just a beautiful canvas card really killed it on the Caulfield, let me tell you, but who knows, maybe we'll get lucky. So, last time, as you may have seen, I like to save the hits for the end, we'll see how it goes, but we started out with some OPGs, and it looks like we're going to start out with some OPGs again. Tom Wilson, yuck, and P.K. Zuban, Matthew Highmore, Matt Murray, and a marquee rookie of Jake Neighbors. So we got a decent amount of OPG in here, but that's our first one. Anthony Beauvillier, Eric Carlson, and Sam Gagne. Moving on, pack number two. Starting out with a pretty mediocre OPG rookie. Although, you know, none of the OPG rookies are that good. Anyways, looks like we've got our first young gun of the box. Uh, my favorite part about putting the young guns aside, if, uh, if number seven comes out. Because that means you've got a French, or you've got an exclusive, or you've got a high gloss. And that's the fun. So, moving on. Pack number three. Looks like we've got ourselves an honor roll here. Got uh, Jason Spezza, Ryan Getzel, Ryan O'Reilly. And hey, that's a pretty good one. Moritz Cider. Rudy honor roll. That's the rookie you're looking for. Obviously, would rather it be in a, uh, in a young gun format there, but... You'll take any Cider or Raymond because Detroit fans are starved for cards of those guys. Mark Giordano, Brandon Carlo, a McKinnon drive cycle checklist, and a Tyler Mott. Continuing onwards. This is pack number four, the first 
row of the box. I gotta say the quality control has been quite good so far from what I've seen in this box and a little bit very impressed with this. I know a lot of people had complaints about Series 1. I, I didn't have huge problems with it. I know the secrecies were all rough cut, but to me it was just a bit of a, like it was very rarely infringed on the card in the ones that I saw. Uh, it was just kind of a bit rough at the top, so I don't mind it too much. I uh, did have some tough stuff in retail, but I feel like retail does always has some pretty tough uh, tough damage and <laughs> just as I say that you can see in there uh, whatever that card is is jacked up so let's find out I think it might be whatever the I think that's a portrait uh, we got Ivan Barbashev, Jonas Brodin, Logan Couture oh it's a Dazzlers that's backwards for some reason uh, blue Dazzlers of Jordan Bennington and wow we boy I really jinxed it eh? I talked about the quality control being good and that is a yikes corner just the Dazzlers though so we're okay with it Connor Murphy Igor Shesterkin Tyler Bertuzzi and Patrick Maroon put it backwards for a second there I was thinking ooh, big hit Thompson Panini you know they like to put their their, their autographs uh, <laughs> backwards but no I don't think the Dazzlers are autographed unless that's a secret Easter egg nobody's found yet let me check. No, no not autographed. Ah, oh, well, so close. Uh, let's see here. We got a regular canvas, it looks like. So we've got a Joe Pavelski, Jonathan Quick, Ilya Sorokin, and a Jack Roslevic canvas. Gorgeous canvas photo there. Love the photography on canvas. I'll, I'll sing the praises of it forever. Uh, Robin Lehner, Kirby Doc, Brady Shea, and Leon Dreisaitl. Boy, very interesting. I don't think I've ever seen that before. That's what happened with the Dazzlers there. Very curious to know what's going on there. Uh, we got no peachy. Anything else? Just an no peachy. Uh, Paul Stastny, Hayden Flurry, Drake Batherson, Mike Riley, and Maxime Sushko. Marky Rookie Retro. Matt Dumba, Brian Rust, and Yusuf Balanaki. So we're up to seven packs. It's pack number eight. Officially the one third point of the box. Another OPG here. You can tell from the side, by the way, if you don't know why I'm seeing that. You can see one of the cards is, is slightly browner. That's the uh, the retro style stock that you see on the OPG. And it's a retro even. Uh, Dreger, Rocco Grimaldi, Henry Yokoharu, and a retro marquee rookie of Daniel Walcott. Boy, the OPGs have been rough so far. Max Pacioretty, Barrett Hayden, Mark Stahl, and Tavo Teravine. Continuing onwards, pack number nine. Oof, boy. You know, I thought I had this perfectly down to a science. I can open a pack perfectly every single time, but man, oh man, they're just eating me up. That is a black canvas. Very interesting going to put that off to the side there and continue onwards so the black canvas uh, for those who do not know is an unannounced Easter egg and all the canvas cards both regular and young guns have black variations they're just more rare there's no odds on them but uh, they're a fun little chase thing in my first so I opened two boxes of series one on release day and I got an Oscar Steen uh, black Young Guns canvas, which was super fun. So, very well aware of what they are. And, you know, they hold some decent value because they are a rare parallel of uh, canvas cards. And, in some cases, of Young Guns, which is what you want. Another Young Guns. Some Young Guns coming fast and furious in this box. Uh, I know that uh, some of the collation stuff with Series 1, uh, particularly the case uh, that my guy Greg... Weber's cards, pump his shop again, go to Weber's cards in Hamilton area, they're the best ones. Uh, out in Dundas, he'll help you out, Greg's a great guy. But his uh, his case, the Young Guns were falling in the top four cards, uh, four packs. So it was pretty much the, the top packs were guaranteed the Young Guns in this whole case. It was very uh, weird collation. Uh, Dustin Brown, Andrew Mangiapane, Travis Sanheim, Christian Fisher, and an Opichi Marquee Rookie of Tanner Lezinski. Michael McLeod, Wayne Simmons, and Max Comtois. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, ten. Closing in on the halfway corner of the box. Another OPG. Nico Rantanen, Andrew Kopp, Brady Kachuk, and a marquee rookie of Jeffrey Veal. Our first video, we pulled the blue border, going for the rainbow. Uh, Quinn Hughes, Connor Brown, John Klingberg, and Andre Kopitar. Pack number 12, officially at the halfway point of the box. We'll see what it has in store. So that's going to be a French variation. Casey Middlestat, Connor Hellebuck, Casey Sezikis, and a French variation of Patrick Maroon. Womp womp. Andre Burkowski, jo Johan Larson, Matt Nieto, and Mikel Granlund. Boy, those French variations really just are a, a flop uh, of a, a, a hit. Had to make sure the hands were in frame for that. It just like, man. If you look at the card and it just says variant francais maybe i'm spoiled because uh i think i've had four french variations out of series one and three of them were young ones so i'm very spoiled actually would be the correct way of putting that but boy the pace ones are just they're just yikes and i've gotten well you, you saw connor clifton in the first video you've seen patrick maroon in this one and my one from series one was thomas grice who we do not like and uh, if you know you know and if you don't Google him and Team Germany. Philip Heedle, Scott Lawton, TJ Oshie, and an OPG update of Marc Andre Fleury on the Chicago Blackhawks. That's a cool card. He looks cool in those in those threads. Jordan Cairo, Neil Pionk, Jordan Eberle, and Mika Zibanejad. Boy, he really does, eh? Those those pads with with that jersey. Marc Andre Fleury just he, he knows how to make a goalie look good. You say that much. Boy, oh boy, they're just eating me up these times. So, no clear cut so far. We got a regular canvas here Nicholas Obey Kubel, Vladislav Gavrikov, Jamie Alexiak, Con Glifton, Dylan Strom taking a face off there against Freddy Goudreau, probably. Nick Suzuki, Teddy Bluger, and Michael Backlund. I think so. I have no idea. I'm going to guess Freddy Gaudreau. I'm trying to flaunt my hockey knowledge there and almost probably fell flat on my face. Don't actually know if he was playing for Minnesota at any point. Moving onwards. Let's see here. Ooh, another young gun. So that makes five young guns with still looks like seven packs to go. So it should be one more young gun. But Well, we won't see a French one, but we'll see another one. At least one of them is probably an exclusive or a high gloss. Still have never pulled uh, an exclusive or a high gloss from a pack of anything, let alone a retro. That is a canvas young gun, and that is what you like to see. We know who we're hoping for on that one. We're hoping for the big boy. Now, you see the interesting thing is because they're red, you can kind of see it all the way up. You see that little white there? That's the canvas. If you look back at our black canvas, and this is why. I'm going to let you know it's probably just a regular canvas. You do not see that white uh, strip there. So probably just a regular black canvas. This is still a pretty rare hit. But I'm not going to get all excited and it be a young gun again. Just like Oscar Steen. Although with my uh, luck with those rare hits, uh, probably would have just been uh, somebody similar to Oscar Steen. A Kucherov Ovechkin canvas, or a checklist rather. Brandon Sutter, Joel Erickson Eck, and a John Carlson canvas. Sam Bennett, James Van Riemsdyk, Ryan Nugent Hopkins, and Jonathan Drouin. Down to five packs to go. So I guess technically we have seven young guns if you count the canvas. Uh, I think we're still looking for an Opeachy. And definitely some honor rolls and portraits again. Those are at the bottom of the box one more time. What? Oh, we got a fluorescence, and it's a yellow one, which I believe is numbered. I'm going to put that aside. Uh, the fluorescence is a rookie insert. I don't know what to think of them. In last year, the the quality control on them was pretty rough. The edges got pretty dinged up. I have um, 
uh, a number of the Timothy Lilligren ones, and they're cool, but just hard to hard to really love them when they're when you can see and you can see how dingy the edges are, which is such a bummer. Uh, Robbie Fabry, Ryan McDonough, John Marino, a portrait rookie of Sampo Renta for Colorado. Gary Bryce, Hampus Lindholm, uh, Colin Miller, and Nikolai Ehlers. So be very interested to see what these ones look like. Um, I've seen a couple pictures of them. They seem a lot better. The design is very interesting, I'll say. But uh, yeah, very curious as to, uh, to what sort of quality control is on them as opposed to last year's. I think that's just a portrait. Andrei Sneshnikov, Zach Cashin, Sam Steele, and a portrait rookie of Tanner Janot. Very undervalued rookie for how he scored, but um, I get it. He's in Nashville, not exactly a hockey mad market. Ivan Provorov, Lawson Kraus, Oliver Wallstrom, and Sean Couturier. Sorry, let me amend that. Not exactly a hockey card mad market. They get pretty crazy once the uh, once the playoffs go. If their team is if their team is looking good, obviously uh, this season facing Colorado without their top goalie. That was never going to go very well, but uh, when they go on long runs, they tend to get crazy there. Alexander Barabanov, Jesper Fast, Jonas Corposano, Yoel Almina, and a Jake Lecision honor roll with that gold shiny helmet. You like to see that. That's a cool looking one. Ryan Lindgren, Colton Sissons, and Jamie Ben. So we're on to the last pack, which either should contain a young gun, or like I got fooled last time, the pack with that fluorescence has the young gun in it. And yeah, I don't actually know what we got here. All right, uh, Phil Kessel, Tyson Berry, Vinny Trocek, Damon Severson. Oh, another French variation of Evgeny Malkin. Yay, Alex Kalorn, Nikita Saitsev, and Ole Vir Bjorkstrand. All right, so that means that one of these also contains a young gun, but let's, let's just begin with the stack, shall we? So we've got uh, two cards in. So Matthew Joseph, Kyle Opozo, uh, Jonathan Taves. And the team is, oh, I uh, can't do math, Ryan Strom. And the team is San Jose, which is Jasper Weatherby. I want to say no idea, but now I'm starting to think that I opened a portrait of him uh, in the first box. Oops. Uh, Brock Nelson, Patrick Liney, and Jake Gardner. Young Gun number two. Okay, this one I'm confident. Just two. Travis Hamlet, Anthony Mantha, Nikita Kucherov, and the team is the Panthers. Lundell, Denisenko. Not bad. Now, from what I have seen, uh, Grigory Denisenko, I feel like goes with somebody. Now I'm trying to think of who he goes with. It might be Cider that he goes with. So, fingers crossed. Boone Jenner, Cam Talbot, Trent Frederick, and Brandon Hagel. Next up, we've got Alec Texier, Nino Niederreiter, Alex Romanov, Romanov. Ricard Raquel, Coyotes, Dyson Mayo, great name, Dyson Mayo, I believe, yes, a defenseman, and he is 26 years old, not much of a rookie there, but young under young gun, Kevin Shattenkirk, Matt Duchesne, Aaron Nathlad, next one up. Dante Fabro, Owen Tippett, Bowen Byron, Ilya Lavushkin, and the team is the Ducks, Mason McTavish. That's who he goes with, so that's a pretty good one. As I am recording this, which is on release night for Series 2, Mason McTavish's OHL team, Hamilton Bulldogs, just won the OHL championship, heading to the Memorial Cup, which might be over by the time this gets uploaded, but uh, you don't come to me for breaking news. Dmitry Orlov, Ilya Mikheyev, and Frank Vetrano. And this one here, Steven Stamkos, Essa Lindell, Ilya Samsonov, 
Marco Scandella and the team is the Sabres. Brett Murray. Pull the canvas I have in Series 1. That's it. That's my entire comment on Brett Murray. It's a 24-year-old uh, uh, left winger who plays for the Sabres. So that should probably tell you everything you need to know. All right, so looking at the black canvas now. Braden McNabb, Ryan Hartman, Alexander Barkov, Austin Matthews, and is a Tyler Sagan black canvas. That is a sweet photo. That would be from... This has got to be an outdoor game, right? Cool, though. I mean, hey, if you're going to get just a regular black canvas, let it be of a sweet photo like that. Tyler Sagan, black canvas. Evgeny Malkin, Connor Sheary, and Igor Sharangovich. Man, just cannot stop knocking the camera, eh? Moving on to the canvas young gun. Huge potential here, obviously. Cole Caulfield is in there. Uh, I don't believe it's Raymond, because Raymond is a, uh, a horizontal card. So, John Leonard, Philip Peronic, Alec Martinez. And wouldn't you know it, camera overheated one more time. That's uh, just going to be the story of my life, apparently. And right at the worst part, or the best part, where I'm about to reveal what this canvas is. But haven't done it yet, so let's find out together. Calvin DeHaan and... Oh, it is. Interesting. So it could be Raymond. Canucks. Oh, it's a Marcus Maslin retired canvas. Oh, okay. Thought uh, I didn't realize the retired canvases are all red as well. Okay, that's a pretty cool hit. Uh, you'd probably rather have the young gun, but hey, these are pretty rare too. Technically, they're rarer than the, the canvas young gun. Uh, Zemgis Gergensen's, Andreas Athanasio, and Elias Lindholm. And last pack, what we have the fluorescent yellow and a young gun. So, let's actually check how far the young gun is. Okay. Jake Muzzin, Jared Anderson Dolan, Alex Petrangelo. The young gun is Colorado Sampo Renta. Don't know much about him. Couldn't tell you. And the yellow fluorescence. Cool looking. Numbered 25 of 150. Numbering looks terrible on this year's cards, by the way. Quinton Byfield. Okay, you'll take that. Now that's a good hit. Took us till the last pack, right? A fluorescence yellow, number 25 out of 150 of Quinton Byfield. And the young gun of Sampo Renta. So, uh, oh, got to get the last few base in. David Pasternak, Brock Besser, Zach Whitecloud. So, let's recap the hits here. We've got uh, our, our Dazzlers, our two French variations. Yikes. Uh, the good stuff, though. Let's go this way. Young Guns of Sampo Ranta, Brett Murray, Mason McTavish, a Dyson Mayo. I feel like, yeah, I left two down there. <laughs> Gregory Denisenko and Jasper Weatherby. Uh, a black canvas of Tyler Sagan, a retired canvas of Marcus Naslund, and a fluorescence yellow, number 25 of 150, of Quinton Byfield. So, second box, better than the first? Probably better than the first. Better young guns, that's for sure. And that's a pretty nice hit right there, the fluorescence yellow of Byfield. So, well, I, I, I would say Series 2 hasn't treated me quite as nice as Series 1 did, but still loving it. So, if you like this, please like, uh, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you next time. Cheers.